find the features information for the normal distribution. For you to get more on this, you need to subscribe to this channel. So how do we find the features information for the normal distribution? Solution. You recall that from the features information, and the second derivative, you take the expected value of. The function maybe. So from this, we will be able to note how to compute the features information. This can be rewritten as the of the function. This is the second derivative. So it can be written as this. This is the features information. Now we are given this. The first thing we do is to rearrange this. So we can rearrange it in this way so that we can be able to use it. So it's the same thing. The next thing we do is to take the link function. Without the link function or the log rating of the normal distribution. If we take the log of this, we get 1 all over 2 mean 2 pi sigma squared. If we take the log function of this exponential distribution, we get x minus theta all over 2 sigma squared. So by first principle, or by first derivative, to come over to this place, the features information be equal to this. Which is equal to if we differentiate the whole of this with respect to theta, we will get zero. Yes, if we differentiate the whole of this with respect to theta, we will get zero. If we differentiate this, this is a minus sign. Minus sign. So we use what is called the quotient theorem to differentiate this. That means this will be our u and this will be our v. For we to know what we we'll put here. So we we'll have u the v all over the theta all over v squared. So it implies that this is our u and this is our v. So v, we we'll bring down v first. v will give us 2 sigma squared multiplied by the u all over the theta. The u will we'll differentiate this with respect to theta. We get times Yeah, times 2 because if this goes over to this place, we get times 2 x minus theta 
two minus one minus u. U is um x minus theta all squared times if we differentiate this with respect to theta, if we differentiate v with respect to theta, we get zero all over v, which is two sigma squared all squared. So our answer will be four sigma squared. Multiply by x minus theta all over 4 sigma 4, which is equal to this can cancel this, while the whole of this can cancel this to so keep us with 2. So we'll be left with x minus theta all over sigma squared. So that's what we we'll put here. We say x minus theta all over sigma squared. So it means that for the first derivative, the Fisher's information for the expected value of the first differential will be the expected value with this square, we put this square here. So we can also write this in this form. Expected value of x minus theta all squared all over sigma squared. We note that this already is equal to the variance of x all over sigma squared. You say, but the variance of x for the normal distribution is equal to sigma squared. Is equal to sigma. So, this is what we get. That is what we get. If we multiply this with this, sorry, we get 4 here. We get 4. That means we get 4 here. It implies that the variance of x for the normal distribution, for the normal distribution, the variance is sigma squared. So the variance here is sigma squared all over sigma 4, which is, if this cancels this, we have 1 all over sigma squared. Therefore, therefore, the Fisher's information Therefore, the Fisher's information for the force differential is equal to 1 all over z minus So, it's equal to 1 all over z minus So, after this, we will now go for the second derivative. So, by second derivative, we have that the Fisher's information is equal to the negative expected value of 
the second differential. So what are we differentiating? What are we differentiating? We are differentiating what we got from the first differential, which is this. This is the value we are differentiating. So we put it this way. X minus theta all over z minus four. So this is what we differentiate. We also use the quotient rule. To differentiate that. This will be our u and this will be our v. So what do we do? V we bring it down as sigma squared multiplied by the u all over the theta. The u all over the theta. If I differentiating this with respect to theta, we get minus one minus u x minus theta times the v all over the theta the v all over the theta the v all over the theta this we have in terms of so it becomes a all over v squared squared so what we have is this, this will give us plus, so we have sigma squared all over sigma raised to the power of 4, which is, in this case of this, we have 1 all over sigma squared. So the efficiency information for the second derivative. equal to negative 1 all over z minus 2 squared. So, in all, from what we have gotten, we have gotten the first differential, when we took the expected value, it gives us this. Likewise, the second differential too, gives us this. So, in all, we can write it as this. The features information first for the four differential and the second differential is equal to The second one is so this is how to compute the features information for the normal distribution. 